Charity, is Miguel here with you? Yeah, I'm, I'm here, Father. Thank you for coming. Yes. Hello, Father. It's nice to see you. Is there some special reason that you're here? Father Lonigan's here to help us deal with something, Charity. Something that could put a huge strain on our relationship. I just hope that you're strong enough to handle it. Miguel, what problem does Father need to help us deal with? We have to, um... We have to tell her families that we're getting married. <laughs> <laughs> well, Miguel, that's certainly not a problem. I mean, our families know how we feel about each other. I agree. They're supportive of you being in love. Still, there might be concerns that you're marrying too young. But I think a pre cana program will prepare you for married life, and that should ease the concerns of both families. See, Charity? I knew Father Lonigan would be able to help us. <sighs> well, thank you, Father. But I'm not worried about our marrying young, Miguel. You know, before my mother died, she said that the key to marriage was just communication. And we're great at communicating. There's really nothing that we can't talk about. I know you were unable to come to Mass while you were imprisoned in that block of ice. And Miguel, I know you've had a tough time making it because of all the amazing events in your life. So I would like to say Mass and celebrate the Eucharist with you both tonight. Well, that's very sweet of you. Really, it's so nice of you. I've missed going to Mass. Good. But I will have to hear your confessions before I say Mass. Although I doubt if you have anything to confess, Charity. You were in that cave for such a long time. She wouldn't have anything to confess anyway, Father. She's perfect. <laughs> but I'd like to make my confession. All right. Let's step outside. I'm sorry we don't have a more private place to do this. That's okay. It's not like there's anyone around. Bless me, Father, for I've sinned. When was your last confession, my child? I can't remember. A few months ago, I guess. Father, um... I have something really horrible to confess. Something that's been eating away at me. Tell me your sin, Miguel. I, um... I made love to Kay. And I haven't told Charity about it. Miguel, I know you love Charity. You want to spend your life with her. Why would you make love to Kay? I wouldn't, all right? If I knew it was Kay, I never would have. I don't know why, but I thought I was making love to Charity. I think I know how it happened. Father, I need forgiveness for my sins. I'm so sorry. I, I never meant to hurt Charity or Timmy. Things just got really out of control, Father. So please, give me absolution. I'm sorry, Kay. I cannot absolve you of your sins. Not this time. It was evil, Miguel. Evil was influencing that you. That has got to be the only explanation. And Kay, I know that she didn't have anything to do with it. I can absolve you of your sin, Miguel, but you must tell Charity the truth. It's the only way you'll rid yourself of this guilt. What if she won't forgive me? You'll have to take that chance, but it's the only way. Tell her before someone else does. So you really think I should tell Charity the truth? It's her only hope for a happy marriage, Miguel. Lies and deceit tear relationships apart. They damage the hearts of the liars and the deceivers. Tell Charity the truth. Trust God and the love you and Charity share. If you don't, 
if someone else tells her the truth before you do. It could damage a relationship beyond repair.